The V-22 Osprey has sparked debates during its 30-year lifespan due to a history of a variety of safety concerns. It was reported that the Osprey occasionally resulted in collisions and fatalities. For example, the crash of MV-22 happened in March 2022 in Norway, killing four Marines. There was another crash in June 2022 in California, which killed five people. Despite the debate, we're going to look at the key reasons why the V-22 Osprey was built in the first place. The V-22 Osprey is the U.S. military's first tilt-rotor aircraft. Its distinctive capabilities include taking off vertically and hovering like a helicopter, as well as flying forward at high speeds after turning its nacelles. The V-22 Osprey is primarily used as an amphibious assault to transport soldiers, equipment, and supplies from assault ships and land bases. As a multi-engine, dual-piloted, self-deployable, medium-lift, vertical takeoff and landing tilt-rotor aircraft, it is deployed for combat support, combat service support, and special operations missions all over the world. It all began when Operation Eagle Claw failed during the Iran-Iraq War. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw has led to the main reason why the V-22 Osprey was built, making the V-22 Osprey an aircraft born of failure. In 1980, the U.S. was confronted with the plague of the Iranian hostage situation. The poor range of U.S. military helicopters contributed to the 1980 failure of Operation Eagle Claw, the unsuccessful hostage rescue effort. The U.S. Navy's RH-53D helicopters, which were acquired to fly from the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz to the Persian Gulf to Tehran, lacked the fuel to complete the voyage nonstop. Troops and aircraft would secretly secure an airfield in the Iranian desert in order to refuel the helicopters and guarantee that they had adequate fuel for their mission. It was actually a risky strategy. As what was feared, the collision at the refueling site between the C-130 Hercules and an RH-53D Sea Stallion could not be avoided, resulting in the loss of aircraft and rescuers. This forced the commander to cancel the operation. For these reasons, the Pentagon or the U.S. Department of Defense then launched a program in 1981 to build an innovative transport aircraft with long range, high speed, and vertical takeoff capabilities. This program was named the Joint Service Vertical Takeoff Landing Experimental or JVX. A long range transport aircraft such as JVX would have made the rescue mission easier by allowing the rescuers to fly directly to Tehran and back without stopping to refuel. A joint venture of two big American manufacturers, Bell Textron, formerly Bell Helicopter, and Boeing Defense, Space and Security, proposed a tilt rotor aircraft with a large payload capacity, speed, and range to answer the military's requirement. The two companies were then given a contract for the development of the V-22 tilt rotor aircraft in 1983. The V-22 initially flew in 1989, kicking off a period of flight testing and design changes. Bell Boeing manufactures three Osprey variants. First, the CV-22, which was officially announced operational in 2009 by the Air Force Special Operations Command, or AFSOC, Second, the MV-22, the medium assault transport for Marine Corps to replace the Corps' existing fleet of CH-46E Sea Knight and CH-53D medium lift helicopters. And third, the HV-22, the logistics aircraft for the Navy, which transports supplies and troops to aircraft carriers. The AFSOC uses the CV-22 for special operations missions while preserving maximum commonality with the MV-22. This is because primary aircraft variations are intended for particular mission needs of the AFSOC. The MV-22 will be assigned to all Marine Corps' medium lift active duty and reserve combat squadrons. The medium lift training squadron, FRS, and the executive support squadron, HMX. 
They will deploy as needed. Much like current medium lift units, the HV-22 will be used for combat search and rescue and fleet logistical support by the Navy. The design of the V-22 was derived from the Bell XV-15. It addresses both the spread and folded dimensions. For spread dimensions, the V-22 has a length of 57 feet 4 inches, width of 84 feet 7 inches, and a height of 22 feet 7 inches, while the folded dimensions, its length is 63 feet, width is 18 feet 5 inches, and height is 8 feet 3 inches. Its wingspan is 45 feet and 10 inches, with an overall wing area of 301.4 square feet. When doing the vertical takeoff or landing, the V-22 weighs 52,600 pounds. When short takeoff or landing, it is 57,000 pounds. And when self-deploy short takeoff, it is 60,500 pounds. The V-22 Osprey is powered by two Rolls-Royce T406 AD400 turboprop or turboshaft engines, producing 6,150 horsepower. Its main rotor diameter is 2 by 38 feet, with a main rotor area of 2,268 square feet. In terms of performance, the V22 Osprey can fly at a maximum speed of 316 miles per hour to 565 miles per hour at 15,000 feet with stall speed of 130 miles per hour. The Osprey can reach an effective range of 1,012 miles and combat range of 450 miles, as well as a ferry range of 2,570 miles. Its surface ceiling is 25,000 feet. More specifically, as the amphibious pre-assault raid, the V-22 has a range of 200 to 230 nautical miles. As the external amphibious lift, it can carry a 10,000 pound load at a range of 50 nautical miles. And as the external land assault lift, it can fly from 50 to 69 nautical miles. Overall, the V-22 has a capacity for seating 24 combat troops and carrying 20,000 pounds of internal cargo, or up to 15,000 pounds of external cargo, and one M1161 Growler light transportable ground vehicle. The MV-22 and CV-22 variants also have a cruise airspeed of 240 knots and 230 knots, respectively. In its operational evaluation, or OPIVAL, which took place from March to June 2005, the MV-22 showed values that it was determined to be operationally effective, operationally appropriate, and recommended for fleet implementation. The Osprey is also capable of aerial refueling and is shipboard compatible. However, from 1991 to 2006, the V-22 experienced four crashes during training, resulting in 30 fatalities. Since its inception in 2007, the V-22 has been involved in eight collisions, two of which occurred in combat, as well as various other crashes and incidents that have resulted in a total of 16 fatalities. Overall, the V-22 Osprey has experienced 13 hull loss accidents, resulting in 51 deaths, including the recent crashes in Norway and California. The AFSOC confirms and identifies the issue of the latest crashes as a hard clutch engagement. According to Becky Hayes, an AFSOC spokeswoman, the clutch within a gearbox that links one of the CV-22's two Rolls-Royce Liberty AE-110C engines to the propeller rotor can slide for an unexplained cause. When this occurs, the power load is practically transferred directly to the opposite engine since the design feature allows the Osprey to continue flying even if one of its engines experiences any failure. In most circumstances, the first clutch may re-engage and the power load quickly returns to the original propeller rotor and engine. However, due to the quick shift of power between engines, the pilots are forced to land the CV-22 instantly. This, therefore, might result in loss of control and an uncontrolled landing of the aircraft, especially for the air crew who are unable to manage the aircraft during this critical time. Due to an increased number of safety issues involving engine clutch problems, braking defense reported 
that the Air Force Special Operations Command has immediately grounded all 52 of its CV-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft. So what do you think? That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.